As a business owner, it's crucial to keep your company's records up to date. So, whether you're adding new shareholders or transferring existing ones, we've got you covered. Today, we're going to guide you through the process of changing shareholders at Companies House. So, let's dive right in. Hello there and welcome. My name is Ian from Your Company Formations, where we make forming your company child's play. In today's video, we're going to be looking over the exact steps needed for you to be able to change your shareholders in your company. It's not too taxing and you can follow along with this video to make your life easier. Now, most importantly, before we begin, make sure to have all the necessary information and documents on hand. You'll need the following company authentication credentials, such as your company's house web filing authentication code, your shareholder details, including full name, address, and the number of shares they hold, a consent form from the shareholders involved in the change. So pause the video here to grab those details. I can wait, it's okay. Okay, now you have all those details, let's begin. Now, it should be noted that the details are correct as of the date of this video. Of course, things can change and therefore you advise to go to the company's house website to double check everything. Also, as a side note, if you decide you'd much rather forego the hassle of doing all this yourself, or maybe you're worried about making mistakes that could affect your business, we have a service where we do everything for you. So use the timestamps of the video in the comments below to skip to the part which tells you about that service or you can go to our website directly and chat to one of our friendly team. However, if you want to do the process yourself as you have time to follow the video steps and you find submitting forms and typing out details a fun activity, then please keep watching so you can follow along. So let's get into the nitty gritty, shall we? Step one is updating the shareholder information. Log into your company's house web filing account. If you don't have one, you'll need to create one at this stage on the company's house website. Once you're logged in, you'll find the company in the list and click on file for whatever your company name is. Next, we need to talk about the company's house SH01 form. This is a form you'll need to submit to company's house to inform them of the changes in shareholders. Now there's a few sections here that you'll need to fill in with this form. As you're already signed in, you need to go to the all forms section and select share capital and then return of allotment of shares. That's the SH01. Add the allotment dates. In this section, this is where you add the dates when you allotted the new shares. Next up is add allotment. This section is where you add the details of the new shares that you've issued. After this, you'll need to amend the statement of capital. This is a section where you amend the company's statement of capital to reflect the new shares that you issued. And finally, confirm amount unpaid. This is a section where you confirm that there is no amount unpaid on the new shares that you've issued. After submitting the SH01 form, it's time to pay the filing fee. The current fee may have changed by the time you watch this video, so therefore I'll leave the fee cost out and you can check that yourself on the company's house website to find out exactly depending on the year that you're watching this video. Once the payment is completed, the company's house will process your request and then they'll update the shareholder information in your company's records accordingly. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to change shareholders at Company's House. Remember, keeping accurate and up-to-date records is essential for your company's compliance and reputation. So, if you're worried about the process or confused about which forms you need to fill in and which forms can be omitted, make sure to reach out to one of our knowledgeable team who can steer you in the right direction. Or, as I said before, you can purchase a package which means that we take all the burden away from you. Visit our additional services page on our website and choose either the transfer of shares or additional shares service. If you are still unsure about which one you need, you can chat to one of our friendly team by telephone or via our socials, which are linked in the description below. And of course, if you have any burning questions about this topic or any other, make sure to comment below so that we can answer your question promptly. Thanks for watching. 